Hi Tekla users, welcome to Tekla tool and tips video. In this video, we will learn copy object with the help of linear array tool. So go to the application and write here linear array. This tool will be coming and uh, this is asking pick object to copy. Okay, before using this application, we need one object which I will copy with the help of this tool. So prepare one object. I'm preparing the control plate. I will copy this object with the help of this. So double click on this and uh, this is asking pick object to copy. Select the object, press middle mouse button. Okay now it is asking to pick the origin point okay and now it is asking the x select the x direction means picking point in x direction i will pick this point and uh, again it is asking pick x direction y so i am picking point in y direction okay so this uh, number is for the number of which is going copy in x direction, y direction and z direction so I'm, let's check if I'm changing it 5 here I'm changing 3 and here in, I'm changing 2 so you can check in x direction it is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 ok in uh, y direction it is 1, 2, 3 and for the z direction we will take and view the section using two points take section control p c one two okay control tab now this is the dimension between the object right now it is three either the vertical dimension 3 by direction in x direction it is 3 in z direction three. ok this space will work when you select this option if I am selecting equal, this option will be disappear. What will be happen? Modify it. Because during selection in x direction and y direction, my picking point is this and this. So what will be happen? If I am selecting this option, so it is dividing this dimension in equal space. Because the number of the object is 5, then it will divide this dimension into the 4 equal distance. Okay. 5. 5. 5. 5. Okay. If I am changing it specific, it is 3. 3, 3, 3. You can also start it with the 0. Modify. This is coming from the origin. Okay, like this. You can change it here. 0. zero. So it is starting from the origin. Okay. And you can change the dimension like this. 5. Fit. To fit. Okay. What will happen? 
the first will be come on at the zero second will come on the three fit third space is coming I picking error five and two and because for the last I haven't uh, mentioned any dimension so it will become automatically at two fit okay likewise this this dimension and this options will work for the y and z as well now you can see there is a drop down options reverse first it was at the normal now check the what happened in the reverse it will come on the opposite side to the origin if i am selecting the reverse if i am selecting the center the first it is dividing between the center line okay mirror this is getting mirror it to this two number of grid okay this will work in all the x y and z direction likewise if i am changing it here in z direction i am going to change it mirror is getting mirror from the origin point ok let's change it to the equal and normal equal normal normal now what is the use of this if I am changing it to fit This first row difference will be come at two fit. Okay. Because it is getting skewed. Okay. And what about this? Come on the chat axis. Let's change it. Why fit? And modify. This dimensions will be alternative one. Come on five. Okay. So this is very useful tool and you can use in your custom component as well. Thank you for watching. Thanks.